Good morning, everyone. This is Scott with the Scott Man, and we're here to do a special drawing video today. So, in this video, we're going to be doing a little freeway tour of the of Detroit, Michigan, primarily downtown Detroit. So, I'm starting off the video over by Detroit Metro Airport, which, as a matter of fact, I even have a separate video on driving it. The, me driving around the Detroit Metro Airport, basically showing you how the air, everything with the airport. So we're gonna start off this video by leaving the airport. We're gonna get onto I-94 East to head in the direction of Detroit. So basically, if you're flying into Detroit, and let's say you picked up your rental car and you're looking to head into Detroit, uh, this is basically the route you'd be taking. And as you can tell by this entrance ramp, this is basically a way of showing how bad the roads are in Michigan. Although they are working, they have been working on a lot of the roads though. Like things are far from perfect, but things are getting a little bit better, especially on the freeways. So if Detroit Metro Airport is the main airport which everybody flies into here in the Detroit area. There's also the airport up in Flint, but that's a lot further north, and I think that's mostly Allegiant Airlines and then some of the, and maybe some random flights for like United or something like that, where the Detroit Metro is like the, is like the, the big airport. It's the, it's the largest airport in the state of Michigan. All right, so now we're on I-94. Well, officially, because we were, we were just on like collector lanes back over the airport. So we'll be driving on all the different freeways in the, like primarily the, the downtown core of Detroit, which is like if you're coming into Detroit to visit, it's like, I am pretty much will be showing you everywhere you pretty much would be going on to when it comes to the freeways. In terms of, the, I say like the majority of people, like if you're just going into Detroit, Yeah, it is a beautiful morning out. It's a little chilly as I'm filming this video. My car thermometer is reading 27 degrees Fahrenheit, which if you convert that to Celsius, it's around like minus three. But it is late February, and this is kind of normal for this time of the year. Although compared to the temperatures we've been seeing lately, it's it's been it's like colder than what it has been. But it has been a record February here. Like, I don't think I've seen temperatures this warm in my lifetime. In Michigan, that is. Because, yeah, as a matter of fact, I was down in Tampa, Florida just a week ago in real time, and it was pretty warm down there too, but a little bit more se seasonal down there. Yeah, right now we're in like the southwestern suburbs of Detroit. Like we're currently in the, when we start off the video, of course at the, at the airport we were in the city of Romulus. Now we're in the city of Taylor. Which yeah, this is these are what are considered to be the down river communities, which are basically all the suburbs of Detroit going south along the Detroit River. Going as far west as like the outskirts of Metro Detroit, like along I-275, which is the freeway which runs west of Detroit Metro Airport. Well, it runs north and south in the western suburbs of Detroit. And this exit here, this is US Highway 24 or Telegraph Road, which is one of the busy highways. It's not a freeway or anything, but it's a busy highway which runs north and south through the western suburbs of Detroit. Going from like the Down River communities all the way up to like Redford Township, West End of Detroit, Dearborn Heights, and then eventually to Southfield, Pontiac, Waterford, and those areas. Which 
goes up to Dearborn, which is where the world headquarters for the Ford Motor Company is located. And Dearborn is also has some sh has some shopping, like a shopping mall up there. There's also a lot of great Middle Eastern restaurants. Because it's one of the it's one of the cities in the United States that has the I think the largest Arab American population, if I'm not mistaken. For sure, in, for sure in Michigan, but I think perhaps even in the United States. And of course, in Dearborn as well too. You also have some museums there too, like you got the Henry Ford, which is a collection of museums. You got the Henry Ford Museum, which is a really cool museum. Got many cool exhibits, everything from like the dealing with the Ford Motor Company to many other cool exhibits. Like there's even the the, the bus that Rosa Parks got arrested on during the 50s, during the spark of the Civil Rights Movement. Like that's also at the Henry Ford Museum. And then there's also Greenfield Village too, which is a part of the Henry Ford. Which is a nice historic outdoor village. So a lot of great attractions up that way on this, along the Southfield Freeway. And then as you're going into Detroit, it's like you got the giant Uniroyal tire. This is one of the iconic landmarks when driving into Detroit. It's a pretty cool tire, I have to say. I, it's always it's always a joy when I get to drive by that tire going into Detroit. So yeah, right now, yeah, we're in like Allen Park and Melvindale, like two other communities in the southwestern part of the metropolitan Detroit area. Off to the left, yeah, you can, you can get to it from Oakwood Boulevard, which is this exit here. That you got the you got the Fairlane Town Center off to the left, which is a big shopping area. Or no, sorry, Fairlane Green. It's, it's like you got a lot of department stores over there. It's the major shop. It's a major shopping area in the Dearborn, Allen Park, Lincoln Park, Dearborn Heights area. Taylor too, I should say. Even though there there are there are a bunch of stores along like Eureka Road down in Taylor as well too. But yeah, it's like yeah, this is a type of video I should have done a lot sooner than this, but I didn't think of it. It's like I didn't think of think of it, but I got yeah, one of my longtime followers uh, recommended the idea to me, and and I thought that'd be a really good idea, especially because like Detroit more and more has been being li it's being listed on popular places to travel to, which is great, especially even now because there's a couple big things happening in Detroit this year. The first one is is Detroit is the host of the NFL Draft, which is being which is taking place toward the end of April in 2024. So it's quite possible you might be watching this video because you're here in Detroit for that. Although of course too, it's like, yeah, you can easily get an Uber or a Lyft into downtown Detroit or take a bus. But if you're not doing that, you're probably renting a car. So as a result, you're gonna be driving on the freeway here. But yeah, so yeah, the NFL Draft is basically uh, an event that takes place every year where a lot of the a lot of American football players coming out of the colleges and universities where they're playing like college football that they're trying to qualify to get into the NFL, which is the professional American Football League here in the United States. And each of the NFL teams will draft players from who are who declare for the NFL draft to become players in the in the NFL. And they always have a, they always host the event in a specific city each year. And this year it's Detroit. 
Detroit. So I know the city of Detroit is doing a lot of preparations for that. Uh, and then yeah, right here, this is the interchange for US Highway 12 or Michigan Avenue. Which Michigan Avenue goes through the heart of Dearborn if you go to the west of here. And Michigan Avenue ends up in downtown Detroit over at Campus Marshes Park. Which is the a beautiful little park at the very center of Detroit. Of downtown Detroit, that is. And speaking of Detroit, we're now in the Detroit city limits. Yeah, what's cool about Campus Marshes Park is that there is a there's a restaurant right in the park. There's a there's a beautiful fountain at the park, and in, in the winter time, there's a ice skating rink there. And around the holidays, they have a big Christmas tree that they decorate and light up. And then the summertime, there's even like a like a there's even like a, a sandy part or a sandy area where you can they got like lounge chairs. It's like almost like you feel like you're at the beach. And then also, too, I believe on the 6th of June of this year, the old Michigan Central Station, which is in the Corktown neighborhood of Detroit, is going to be fully open to the public because the Ford Motor Company purchased that back in 2018 after being in despair and decay for decades, and they revitalized it and fully renovated it, and it looks fantastic right now. It's like the building looks much better than it used to. Because it used to be the old train depot a long time ago. But now it's going to have like a bunch of offices, retail, restaurants. I think even like either apartments or condominiums too. It'll be cool to see that when that's fully complete. I think there's people are just coming here for tourism too. Because yeah, I will say yeah, downtown Detroit and like midtown Detroit, Cork Town, those are really nice areas, especially yeah, especially during the daytime. But it's like, yeah, there are areas of Detroit, though, which, yeah, they can be rougher than others because, yeah, I don't want to completely sugarcoat everything because there are areas of Detroit where tourists should not really need to go to, which is usually where, like, a, the, the higher crime rates are. But, of course, it's no different than any, than any other city where every city has areas which travelers should avoid. But, of course, I've... Especially during the daytime, I've always gone down downtown Detroit, Midtown, very often. I felt pretty safe, and I've had all my full camera gear out. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the freeway, some of the freeways here in, in the downtown Detroit area. So this is the interchange for I-96, which if you take I-96 to the at this exit, and you go I-96 East, that'll take you down to. We got some slower traffic up ahead. Should probably get over though. So I 96 East, which goes to the southeast, I'll take it down to I 75. It's a way to get over to the, the Ambassador Bridge, which is the bridge which goes across over to Windsor, Ontario, in Canada. And eventually, that's the direction you would go into to head to the future Gordy Howe Bridge, which is, which is going to be the newest crossing over to Canada. And you can also get to I-75 that way too. But if you're going to the downtown Detroit though, that is an exit you can take, but I don't know why I got over in this lane because people are going really slow right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get, get back over. So this exit coming up here, so if you're going into downtown Detroit, I'll show, I'll show off the full exit in a little while because I'll be coming back onto this stretch of 94. But M10, which is, the, is considered to be the Lodge Freeway, if you take that south from this interchange, you can take that right into downtown Detroit and there are different exits you can get off of 
to get into downtown Detroit. And then Highway 10 going north, which is the exit to the left, that'll take you back up towards Southfield, which is one of the northern suburbs of Detroit. Right now, this stretch of I-94, they're doing a lot of road work. Because I-94 is has not aged very well, so they're doing a lot of improvements right now. Like they're reconstructing new bridges and although I think with this bridge for Woodward Avenue, I don't think I think they, they just rehabilitated it. I don't think they replaced it because I don't remember Woodward being completely closed. So coming up here, this is going to be well, not here just yet. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Okay, so so this is the exit for I-75, which we're gonna go ahead and get off of here. We're gonna continue east on I-94. That'll take us out of the downtown core. That'll start taking us over to the northeast suburbs, like up to Macomb County. So this is the exit for I-75. I-75 south will take you into Detroit. It's another way to get in the downtown. So if you miss the exit for the Lodge Freeway or M10, no worries. You can easily take this exit too. I-75 going north will take up to the northern suburbs, like going up toward like Royal Oak, Troy, Pontiac, Auburn Hills, that area. Going up to like the northern suburbs, which I'll be showing a little bit of that coming up in a little while. But yeah, I-94 East continues its way out toward like St. Clair Shores, Roseville, Mount Clemens, eventually up toward Port Huron, which is another way you can go across over to Canada, but going up, th going completely around the Windsor area. So now we're on I-75 South, and if you get off here at Mack Avenue, That'll take you into Midtown Detroit, which is a fantastic area. You got a lot of great restaurants there, a lot of museums like the Detroit Institute of Arts. You got the, the Michigan Science Center. You got the Charles Wright African American History Museum. And also the campus for Wayne State University. clouding up a little bit here so that might prevent some of the sun glare which is nice so if you're staying on I-75 you're gonna want to be over at these right two lanes because what happens coming up is that if you were to continue straight that turns into I-375 which goes which heads over to Jefferson Avenue right in downtown Detroit and then you also have an exit for Gratiot Avenue which you get off here but you go to the left fork that's the way you can go over to the Eastern Market area of Detroit. But stay on I-75 South, you continue on this, like exactly what we're doing right now. And then if you look off to the left, that is downtown Detroit, and you can see Ford Field and Comerica Park. Ford Field is where the Detroit Lions football team play, which came close to winning a Super Bowl, too, because they made it to the NFC Championship. And of course, Comerica Park is where the Detroit Tigers baseball team play. And then off to the right, you can't see it because we're down low, but you also have Little Caesars Arena, which is where the Detroit Pistons basketball team and the Detroit Red Wings hockey team play. You can get to those by getting off here at Grand River. Like there's ways you can wiggle around. You can basically do like a U-turn at this overpass here and then work your way over toward Woodward Avenue. So over here, we're back at the interchange, or we're at the interchange for M10 or the Lodge Freeway once again. So you get off of this exit, you can go north, that'll take you back up to like, toward like the northwest part of Detroit, eventually up to Southfield, or the Lodge Freeway South, that'll take you into downtown Detroit, which I'll be showing that off in a little while. And also forgot to mention too, if you got off at Grand River back there, you would you can get over to a couple of the casinos like MGM Grand and also Motor City Casino and Resort. And this exit here from Rosa Parks Boulevard, if you're going to the Court Town neighborhood, which also has some fantastic restaurants, you can get off of Rosa Parks Boulevard, make a left turn at that traffic light at that overpass, 
Now take you down to Michigan Avenue where you have all the the great restaurants on Michigan Avenue like Slow's Barbecue, Out of the Via, Bobcat Bonnie's, Mercury Burger Bar, Nemo's, a lot of great, a lot of great stuff. And now we're coming up to the interchange for I-96, and this time we're gonna get on it. If we were to stay on the left, continue on I-75, that'll take us down to the to where the Ambassador Bridge and the future Gordy Howe Bridge are. I'll show that in a little while too. But for right now, we're going to get on to I-96 North. So this is around the general area where I-96 begins. And it heads out toward like the western suburbs of Detroit, like think like Livonia, Redford Township, Novi. It eventually heads out toward Lansing and then Grand Rapids and ends in Muskegon. So if you're driving from Detroit out to Grand Rapids, I-96 will be your freeway. So we will have just made a full circle. See, so, and then this exit is for Warren Avenue. You can take Warren Avenue, go east, eventually get over into Midtown once you cross over the Lodge Freeway. And I need to get back over because I went to get I ninety six. I mean I ninety four. Excuse me. So here's the exit for I-94, and we're gonna go back to the east on I-94. If you take the left ramp here for I-94 West, that'll take you back out toward Detroit Metro Airport, and then eventually we'll take you out toward Ann Arbor, Ypsilanti, that area, then continue its way west toward Jackson, Battle Creek, Kalamazoo, and then getting out toward Benton Harbor, St. Joseph, and then heads over to Northwest Indiana, eventually out toward Chicago. Yeah, really congested now. Like it just got more congested in just the past five minutes. But yeah, this part of I-94 can get really bogged down during rush hour. So yeah, you definitely need to allow extra time through here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get off at the Lodge Freeway or M10. And then yeah, note that everybody here in Detroit does not refer to the Lodge Freeway as M10 or 10. They always refer to it as the Lodge Freeway, even though it doesn't look like you don't see signs of the Lodge Freeway. But if people tell you to get on the Lodge or the Lodge Freeway, look for look for M10 or or just or for Highway 10. Not to be confused with US Highway 10, which is further north in the state of Michigan. <clears throat> Hopefully I didn't lose you just now. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to get off at the exit for the Lodge Freeway or M10 to go south into downtown. And one thing I forgot to mention, if you were to continue on I-94, there is an exit for Woodward Avenue. It's currently closed right now because because of the road construction going on this year. But when that is open, that is a way you can get into Midtown. But you can also get into Midtown by getting off here at the, for the Lodge Freeway or M10. And you have this exit here for Forest Avenue and Warren Avenue. If you're going into Midtown Detroit, if you're coming over from like Detroit Metro Airport, you will want to get off at this exit. Because if you get off at this exit, you'll technically pass up Warren Avenue. So that traffic light up there is Forest Avenue. You can also take Forest Avenue over as well. But if you want to get back up to Warren, you can make a left turn here. There's like a U-turn that you can do to go back to the north on the service drive up to Warren Avenue. So the next exit coming up is Grand River Avenue. This is, if, if you're coming from the Detroit Metro Airport, this is going to be a very important exit for you because you got access to Motor City Casino and Hotel. Also, you can also, you can work your way down to MGM as well too, although there's other exits for that. But all 
So if you're going to Little Caesars Arena, Comerica Park, or Ford Field, this is a very good exit for you. And just follow the signs, it'll point you in the right direction. And there are a lot of parking garages over by all three stadiums and arenas. And this exit here, this is I-75. So you can take I-75 south, that'll take you back over to where the Ambassador Bridge is. I-75 north will take you right by Comerica Park and Little Caesars Arena. And we'll eventually, and then you can eventually take a ramp to go back to the north on 75. And then Bagley Avenue to the left is another exit you can take in the downtown Detroit, or one of the exits you can take in the downtown Detroit. If you're going to like to MGM Grand, that's probably a good exit for you. And you got a lot of exits coming up here, coming up here for downtown. Howard Street, for, you can get off here for Howard Street to go into downtown. You can also turn in the right at this, after this ramp, you go over toward Corktown. And then you got an exit to the left for Larnett Street. That'll take you also in the downtown. That'll take you a little bit closer toward where Campus Marshes Park is. And then coming up here, it's like yeah, it, there used to be there used to be an arena called Joe Louis Arena, which used to be where the Red Wings used to play, but. They tore that down a few years ago, and now they're putting in a brand new like hotel, I think apartments. And now we're going we're going underneath Huntington Place, which is a big convention center. It used to be called Cobo Hall. That was a name for the longest time for the big convention center that's above us. That's where the the North American Inter International Auto Show. Not sure if I got the full name right. That's where the North American Auto Show takes place, which I think that's going to be resuming back because they ha because back during the pandemic they ha it was either canceled or in different months, but it's, it's going to be back in January again. And now we're briefly off the freeway, so this is the end of the Lodge Freeway, and we're now on Jeff Jefferson Avenue, and we're going right through downtown Detroit. You got the Fist of Joe Louis to the left, to the right that's Hart Plaza. They put on a lot of festivals over there. And of course, you got the Detroit Renaissance Center off to the right. You got a hotel in there, shops, and of course, that's the headquarters for General Motors. And of course, you can easily get to downtown Detroit from Jefferson Avenue, too. You can turn off some of these different roads, and I'm going to have to stop at this light. And of course, if you see that big, small bridge that you saw up there, that's the Detroit People Mover. I'll talk about that in a second, but if you go to the right, that's the continuation of Jefferson Avenue, which that, that, and off to the right a little bit too, there's also the Detroit River Walk, which is a beautiful river walk going along the Detroit River. If you were to continue on Jefferson Avenue for a few more miles, that'll take you over toward Belle Isle, which is a beautiful park, state park, within the middle of the Detroit River. And then now this is the start of I-375, which is the shortest freeway in the state of Michigan, I believe. Or, and there's, poss there's a possibility that this may not be a freeway anymore two or three years from now, because there's talks about making this a, just a boulevard with at great intersections. But for right now, it's I-375. And you can get over to, back over to I-75. So you want to go I-75 south, you want to get off at this exit, follow the signs for I-75 south Toledo. But if, or you want to continue north on I-75, you would continue up this way. So now we're getting back to where we were a little while ago, but in the opposite direction. So yeah, that big like monorail you saw back in downtown Detroit, that's the Detroit People Mover, which is currently a free little monorail which goes around downtown Detroit. It used to be 75 cents, but lately they, they, they're doing like a trial run this year to where they're making all rights free. And then 
going north of I-75, you got exits for Mac Avenue here. And then the next ex exit for Warren, for Warren Avenue, both exits, of course, will take you into Midtown. So now we are coming up to I-94. Which is what we were on at the start of the video. So as I was saying earlier, which I'll, I'll remind you guys again, that yeah, I-94 going east will take you to the northeastern suburbs, suburbs of Detroit. And eventually out toward Port Huron, going over, and then eventually going over the Blue Water Bridge, going into Canada that way. Or I-94 or I West will take you out toward Detroit Metro Airport and the some of the southwestern suburbs of Detroit. Well, west southwestern suburbs. Think like Allen Park, Dearborn, Taylor, Romulus, those areas. eventually heading out toward the southwest part of Michigan making its way towards Chicago. So we're going to continue on I-75 for a little ways, but yeah, so I'm not going to show anything of I-94 going east. Because it's like, unless you're going to any of the suburbs of Detroit, like St. Like Clair Shores or Warren, Roseville, Mount Clemens, or we're going up to like Lake St. Clair Metro Park. It's like, you probably won't be going that way. So I'm not gonna really worry about showing that, but but one thing I, I, I haven't mentioned yet, which I should go ahead and mention, I have filmed a bunch of videos of the freeways here in Detroit. Not the, This is like a general freeway tour. But I've done like more detailed videos like on I-75, I-94, I-96. So this is just a sampling. Oh, but you get off here at this exit, you can go into the the suburb of Hamtramck, which is pretty much completely surrounded by Detroit. Hamtramck is a cool neighborhood because it is the it's like it used to be used to be a Polish neighborhood, but. Now we, we there's been a lot of immigrants coming over from like the bulk the southeast Europe like the Balkans and also like the Middle East. It has the it's the I think it's the city I think the one city in the United States or one of the largest cities in the United States which has or or one of the cities or suburbs in the United States which has the largest Muslim population, which is really really neat. In fact, I even heard too, you can even hear the Islamic call to prayer in Hamtramck during the five times each day when the when the Imam issues the call the call to prayer in Islam. So we're not gonna continue any further on I-75. We're gonna get off here at this exit for M8 or the Davison Freeway. And we're gonna head back to the west toward the Lodge Freeway. So again, if we were to continue north on I-75, oh, I guess I should mention, there are two exits for the Davison. First is the Davison Freeway East, which you probably won't have to worry about going that way, unless you're wiggling around some of the side roads to go over to Buddy's, the original Buddy's Pizza location, which has great pizza, by the way. But if they go west on the Davison Freeway, which is a little connector over to the Lodge Freeway, you will wanna get off here. So if you continue on I-75 North, you'll head up to the northern suburbs going up toward like Troy, Royal Oak, Madison Heights, Hazel Park, going up to the direction, toward, kind of like toward like where the Detroit Zoo is, and then continue north up toward like Pontiac, Auburn Hills, and eventually heading north up to Flint, and then Saginaw, Bay City, eventually heading up to northern Michigan, which has a lot of recreation up in that part of the state, and of course, continue way up to toward like Mackinac area, we have like Mackinac Island, and it can get up to the Upper Peninsula. So I-75 North, that takes you up to Northern Michigan, which is a fantastic part of the 
the state. It's like you, if you have not checked out the northern part of Michigan, it's a, it's a must see because it's like you got a lot of great outdoor recreation. If you don't believe me, just go to the website for Pure Michigan. Like you'll see a bunch of great attractions up there. And also, you got Frankie Muth going up to the north on I-75 as well, too. So this is the Davison Freeway, which is a short freeway which primarily connects I-75 with the Lodge Freeway or M10. To get onto the Lodge Freeway to go south, you're going to, want to get all over, over to the left. Which, I, matter of fact, I didn't even film the video on, on the Davison Freeway or, or M8. So the exit for the Lodge Freeway or M10 south is to the left over here. The exit to go back to the north, heading up towards Southfield, which heads up to an I-696, which is a freeway up in the, the northern suburbs of Detroit. You can get up that way too.
first exit here, but the next exit. <clears throat> okay, so here is the exit for I 96, and it is completely over to the right. So regardless of which direction I-96 you're going on, you're going to want to get off to the right over here. And get off at the I-96 West ramp, that'll take you I-96 West and the direction toward Lansing. And but I-96 East will take you in the direction toward, back toward I-75. And one thing I will mention too is that if you were to continue on I-96 West, you'll eventually get over to I-275. And there is, a, and we're to, there's also an, an access to the freeway M14, which is another alternative route to get out toward Ann Arbor, which links back up with I-94. All right, so now we're back on I-96, but this time going the opposite direction. The signs for I-75 South and I-96 toward Toledo. So if you're in the far left lane, that's the exit for I-75 going south. I mean, sorry, north. So it's I-75 North. So if you're if you're on this freeway I-96 here and you're trying to get over toward Ford Field, Comerica Park, or Little Caesars Arena, be in the far left lane to go to I-75 North toward Flint. The second to the left, or the second left lane, that's for M10 or the Lodge Freeway for or for downtown. If you're going to court the court town neighborhood of Detroit, follow the signs for, for for 10 downtown because there's an exit for for Rosa Parks Boulevard, which is also for court town. Or we're seeing these right two lanes, and you'll continue toward I-75 South, going over toward the International Connections, or well, so specifically the Ambassador Bridge and the future Gordy Howe Bridge. This, this exit coming up here, this is right here to the right, that is Werner Highway. That will take you into some other areas of Southwest Detroit over to like, like, like to Mexican Town where you got some fantastic Mexican restaurants. Okay, so this is very important so that way you don't accidentally take the wrong exit and end up across the international border. If you're going across the Ambassador Bridge to go over into Canada, you will want to get off at this exit to the right, like over there. So make sure to have a, your passport with you if you're getting off at that exit to the right. If you're continuing on I-75 South, you'll want to stay over here. We're going to rejoin I-75 momentarily. And you might be able to see it way off in the distance. That is where the, the new Gordy Howe Bridge is going to be. So I'm not going to be driving completely on, on I-75 South. I'll, I'll be getting off at one of these exits coming up in a while. And then basically turning around to head back into Detroit. But they're, do, they're, they're doing a major reconstruction project over here because they're building the new connections over to the new Gordy Howe Bridge, which I think opens up in a couple years from now. What's going to be nice about this crossing here is that going over, once you get over into Canada, it's going to directly connect with the 401 which is a freeway, so that way you don't have to drive through the streets of Windsor, Ontario. So the ramp for the bridge is gonna be over here. When it's all done, of course, it'll, have, it'll be properly signed, and you'll be able to, be able to take that ramp there once, once it's complete to get onto the Gordy Howe Bridge to get over into Canada. going from like where like the inner customs and integration are then you got the ramps to go back to the south on I-75 so if we're going to continue south on I-75 that'll 
take us to some of the southern suburbs like in the downriver communities think like Lincoln Park and also like Woodhaven Riverview those areas and eventually take you down to down to Ohio going down toward Toledo there but I oh maybe I should have I would think because that there was a ramp to get back on the freeway so I, I'm at the pipe take a very lengthy detour now yeah because we're, we're, we're yeah I did, I did not want to do this <laughs> because we're gonna we're now we're gonna have to go over the the Rouge River which is a very industrial part of the Metro Detroit area Positive note though, we'll look, on our way back we'll get a very nice view. So we'll get off at the next exit here, which is not for another couple miles because we got the big Rouge River Bridge crossing. As you're about to see, yeah, this is a big industrial center. But we'll get a we'll get a pretty view of downtown Detroit going the other way. So maybe this was a good mistake after all. But yeah, as you can tell, it's like yeah, it does not look appealing because this is a big industrial area. This exit here for Fourth Street or M85, or also for Schaefer Highway. I'm gonna take the exit for Fourth Street or Schaefer Highway South. But again, continuing south on I-75, taking the direction toward Toledo, Ohio, and then also to like the. Some of the other downriver communities, again, like Southgate, Lincoln Park, Woodhaven, Riverview, Rockwood, Gibraltar, those areas. And then we're going to go ahead and get back on the freeway here. So this is really nice because I don't have to stop at any traffic lights. Because, yeah, the red lights for that crossing there, I don't have to worry about over here. Just getting back on the ramp on this entrance ramp. So what I'm basically gonna be doing for the rest of the video is I'm gonna take I-75 to head back into downtown Detroit. And that truck is very rude because he did not get over for me. Because yeah, it's like, yeah, it's I don't know, I don't think it's the law in Michigan, but it's a it's a courtesy for people to get over when you can when people are trying to get on the freeway. In some states it is the law to where police officers can actually pull you over and get you a ticket if you refuse to let people on the freeway. But unfortunately there are people who simply just don't care. of downtown Detroit so unfortunately like a lot of cars are trying to get in my way of, of the view so I'm going to go ahead and get over here and yeah here you have often 
the distance, you can see a very nice view of the, De of the Detroit skyline. So if that is downtown Detroit off in the distance, you can see, you also see like the Renaissance Center and all these cool buildings off the, in, the, in the distance.
So the traffic can get really bogged down when there's like a big event going on, like a like a sports game or or even like a major event too. Because you'll have a lot of people getting off for like the exit for Grand River, for example. And as you can tell, sometimes it lingers into the far left lanes because people are just looking over and not paying attention. Yep, everybody's getting off for for Grand River, so I'm suspecting there's probably like a there's gotta be like a Red Wings game or a Pistons game or something. Because the football season's over with, now I can go ahead and get back over.
So to get around this, you can just you can get over to I-96 at the coming up in a couple miles from now. And you can get on I-75 going north, and then you can take the exit for the lodge and the freeway to go back to the north. Or south too, if you're going to downtown Detroit. So it is nice that there are plentiful freeways here in the downtown core where you can easily just take some detours and get back to where you're trying to go. So if we were on this not too long ago, but I did check as of I'm the day I'm filming this video, the ramp from M10 or the Lodge Freeway northbound to again I-94 I West, that ramp is open. But yeah, you'll want to check the site for the Michigan Department of Transportation for more accurate closures in case there are, there are any freeway closures going on or of course or if you're using like Google Maps or GPS to navigate if it's up to date it might show you if a freeway is closed for any reason and yeah I'm glad I felt I started this video when I did because traffic is getting really bogged down going the other way because we were on that toward the beginning of this video so yeah this is gonna be a longer than normal video but it's like I want to have this be very I want this to be very comprehensive I'm picking a very good day to film this because, yes, there can be construction projects during the winter, but this is the time of year where there are the least road construction projects on the freeways here. So it's like I'm guaranteed to have all the major freeways open to, to make this video. Because if I were to wait till like the warmer months, I could run into risk where they could have I-94 close or something or do some other weird stuff. So I knew it was like I better film this video now instead of later. Plus I wanted to make sure I get this video uploaded before like well before the the NFL draft take takes place. I just realized I should probably have some water. Because <clears throat> I've been trying to point out a lot of stuff in this video. I've been talking a lot more than I normally do in these driving videos. To where I oh, almost sound like I'm I'm hosting like a podcast or a radio show or something. This is what we're seeing in this video is exactly is basically areas where we went earlier in this video. I'll point out some of the major exits once again, just in case you're heading out of downtown Detroit and you're going to some of the other areas outside of Detroit, especially like in some of the areas over in Dearborn. <clears throat> Speaking of Dearborn, we're starting to get into that area a little bit. We're like we're, we're about to get out of the Detroit city limits over here. Yep, because you have to cross over or go under Wyoming Avenue. We're now in the city limits. City limits for Dearborn. So if you get off at this exit for Michigan Avenue or US Highway 12, that'll take you into Dearborn. As one of the exits for Dearborn. That's the exit for Dearborn if you're looking to go into like I almost like to consider downtown Dearborn where you have all your different Middle Eastern restaurants. Which I even have a video on that for some great Middle Eastern restaurants to check out in Dearborn. And also there's the the Arab American Museum. 
is in like the downtown core of Dearborn. You can get to that from that exit back there. Again, as I was saying several minutes ago, this is the way to go if you're trying to get to the airport from downtown Detroit. There are there, you can technically use other freeways too, but they're more like detours than anything else. This is, the, this is your direct route from Detroit to the airport. Because you could technically take I-96 west and then you can either come down via the, the or not the Lodge Freeway, the Southfield Freeway which comes back to I-94 or continue west of 96 and then take I-275 south. You can get down to Metro Airport that way. But those are going more out of your way. But those can come in handy if there, for any reason there is a closure of I-94. Unless there's a closure, yeah, this is your this is your best route. But yeah, so yeah, uh, so if you're coming to here to Detroit to visit, yeah, I hope you have a have a, have a great time. It's a really cool city. It's so yeah. Don't let it's like don't let the don't let the doomsayers scare you from coming here. It's like yes, I like I don't want to sugarcoat anything because there are areas in Detroit you do want to avoid because there are high crime rates. So it's like I'm not hiding that, but it's like if you're going if you're going to the area where tourists generally go to, you're pretty much gonna be fine. Just exercise your normal street smarts like you do in any other city. Like you may not want to be out by yourself late at night or anything like that. Like if you're out like late in the evening or overnight, I would highly advise being with a group of people. for 
the Troy Metro Airport about a few miles from now. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue the video all the way to the all the way to the airport. I'm not gonna go far into the airport though. But yeah, I do like the I do like these bridges that which go over Telegraph Road over here at the interchange.
So yeah, just follow the signs for where you need to go and then of course the rental car return. So I think what we'll do is we'll finish the video exactly where we started this video. Because yeah, as you can see, yeah, you can follow the signs for yeah, McNamara Terminal, Evans Terminal, or the, or the rental car return. If you're doing the rental car return, you're gonna be in this far left lane here. The left two lanes are for McNamara Terminal. The right two lanes are for the Evans Terminal. All right, so we're just about back to where we started this video. So yeah, but anyway, I, I hope you found this video of the Detroit freeways very helpful. And again, I have other videos of specific freeways in the Detroit area if you're curious. All right, so yeah, so follow these signs for the rental car return. So we're going to the rental car return, be in the lane, in this turnaround lane here, but to the right, and then and then continue straight through the light here. And the follow the signs for rental car return. All right, well, I hope you enjoy this, this freeway tour of Detroit. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Uh, don't forget to click that, that subscribe button so that we don't miss out on any future adventures. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man signing out here from the Detroit Metro Airport.